Well, now we're doing question six, and uh, on two B, the worksheet, and uh, we're told that there's uh, 0.6 francs per kilogram, and uh, for onions, that's the cost, 0.6 fr uh, francs per kilogram, and uh, a dollar's worth 1.43 francs. So we need to know what the cost is in dollars per pound. So there's, uh, we've got to get rid of these kilograms. And it turns out on page 101, you'll see that there's uh, 2.205 pounds per kilogram. And now the kilograms divide out, the francs divide out, and the only units we have left are uh, dollars per pound. And it turns out that this becomes uh, 19 cents, 0 0.19 dollars, in other words, 19 cents. So now let's go on to question 7. And re please refer to page 103 for this. And it says uh, we've got uh, a Fahrenheit temperature of uh, 67 degrees. So F equals 67, the Fahrenheit temperature. And I'm going to dispense with the degree symbol. And we know this, that uh, the uh, C, the temperature in Celsius, equals the temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32. 2 over 1.8. And you'll find that formula on page 103. And so we have C equals 67 minus 32 over 1.8. And let's keep going with that, which equals 35 over 1.8 which equals, and the temperature in Celsius equals 19.4 degrees. And I'll put the degree symbol there. Okay, so for question 8, we've got to, uh, suppose your utility company charges 8 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity. How much does it cost to operate a chandelier with five 60-watt bulbs for 75 minutes. So let's see, five times 60 watts times 75 minutes over one. And now we need to get rid of all the units but cents. So let's see, there's in a kilowatt, there's 1,000 watts. And in a uh, hour, there's 60 minutes. Now the minutes divide out, the hours divide out, the kilowatts divide out, and the watts divide out. And that should be 60 watts. The watts divide out. Now 60 goes into 60 once. They divide out. 5 goes into 1,200 times, 25 goes into 208 times, and to 75 three times. The 8's divide out, and the only units left standing are the 3 and the cents, so that means it costs 3 cents to run 5 60-watt bulbs for 75 minutes. Now let's do number 9. And... Uh, the information for this, and we're talking about density now, and density equals mass over volume, and the units of density are going to be uh, grams per centimeter cubed, cubic centimeter, and please refer to page 106 for this. So let's see what we have. We've got Two pounds, two pounds per eight, cu eight cubic inches, eight inches cubed. And now let's convert 
the uh, the pounds to grams. So in one pound or one pound, there's 454 grams, and uh, in in one inch, there's uh, 2.54 centimeters. So now we need cubic inches and cubic centimeters, so we'll just cube everything, cube the 254, 2.54, cube the inches, one cubed is one. Now let's see what divides out. The pounds divide out, the uh, in cubic inches divide out, and when we compute this, run this through your calculator, what you get is 6 point nine and it rounds up to three grams per cubic centimeter. So we have one more and that's number 10 and you can find this information that's about gold on page 98 and it says that uh, suppose a necklace is made from uh, 16k with a carrot with a K, gold, and weighs 66 grams. Find the weight in carrots with a C of pure gold at the necklace. Okay, so what we have is uh, 66 grams of 16 carat uh, with K-A-R-A-T gold. And I'll put that over one. Now there's uh, for a little carrot, C-A-R-A-T, little c, there's 0 0.2 grams and you'll find that information on page 98. Also in pure gold there's 24 capital K carrots, K-A-R-A-T, of pure gold. Now, when things divide out our, and we compute this, we get 220 carats of pure gold. And we're done.